see again. Oh, look how pretty that is. Fun stuff. I love this part. Oh, that is beautiful, Chef. Bon appetit. Hey everybody, I'm Vera Stewart and welcome to the Very Vera Show. You know, you think you're in my kitchen, but actually you're in the jungle today. <laughs> and I'm so excited to have Caroline Williams. She is our Very Vera Camp Director. I'm so glad you're with us yes, today. I'm excited. And we are celebrating this summer our 16th year of the Very Vera Cooking Camp. So what is on the menu for this week? Yes, so today we're gonna be making three awesome recipes. First, we're gonna be making Gorilla Bars, which is our take on granola bars. Next, we're going to show you how to make the Jungle Wrap Supreme. If you've ever had a Crunch Wrap Supreme, this will sure to be a oh, favorite. That's great. And finally, we're going to show you how to make your own animal crackers, which is just an awesome recipe. And see how cute everything looks in here. In Vera's Corner today, Caroline is going to show you how to make these adorable pom-pom animals. So we've got quite a bit to do. Let's get in the kitchen and get started on those Gorilla Bars. I am so excited about this theme for camp. This is our pre-beginner group, and these yes. are the six and seven-year-olds. They are adorable, and they are gonna absolutely love this into the jungle theme. So we're working on the Gorilla Bars, yes. which is our take on granola bars. So tell us what we've gone ahead and done. Yes, so earlier today, we went ahead and toasted our oats, sunflower seeds, almonds, and wheat germ in the oven at 350 degrees for about 15 minutes. Okay, so what are these kids gonna think about wheat germ yes. and why are we using it? Yes, so wheat germ is actually part of the wheat kernel and it has a lot of nutritional benefit, including fiber and lots of vitamins and minerals, including vitamin E. Oh man, well that is a great you know, part of why we want to do this because yes. we also talk about the nutrition, you know, during during camp. So let's walk through this recipe then. Yes, so on the stove top right now in a medium saucepan, we have honey, brown sugar, butter, vanilla extract, and salt heating up. It smells so good. It does. And really our main goal here is to just get the brown sugar mm -hmm. to dissolve into this honey mixture. This is gonna be the glue for our granola once we add in our toasted mixture. Well, do you think that's about ready? Yes, okay. so let's go ahead and pour that in. I tell you, there is nothing. And you know, these kids, they love this kind of thing for snacks. Yes, it's a great snack option. So we're gonna go ahead and mix that up and really just get this honey mixture mixed in well with the toasted oats. Okay. And then I've prepared the seven by 11 pan with just pan spray. So that's ready to go. Oh, that's looking great. Yes. And then what are we gonna add to that? Yes, so we are gonna add dried fruit. So today we have craisins, but you can add whatever dried fruit you would like or prefer. Do you want me to pour those in? Yes, let's go ahead and add in our craisins. Okay. And mix that up. Well, you know, in terms of this camp, Camp started in 2004. It was basically a diversification for my company. Being in mail order and catering, you know, the account said, you've got to come up with a way to do something in the summertime. So I went back to my roots as a home economics teacher and created this camp for children to come into our building. And so now, 16 years later, it's still really going strong. And we've added six and seven year olds. You know, once we got into an environment where I felt like they were safe and protected, you know, in our, our first location where we were doing all kinds of other baking and cooking, um, it just wasn't appropriate to have a six or seven year old in the kitchen. All right, so we're ready to put this in yes, the pan. Yes, we're ready, so I'm gonna I'll hand you the on pan. This side and, and we'll just pour that right into our seven by 11 pan. Gosh, that smells so good. There we go. All right. And then we'll spread that out. Put this over here. And just to make sure that we get our granola mixture nice and even, we're gonna take a sheet of parchment paper yeah. and just press down on it. And while you're doing that, we've gone ahead and made one. So this is about the thickness. You're gonna have about a half an inch thickness on it. And then we're trying to get just squares out of this. Yes. So, you know, my thing as a home ec teacher is always to do your measurements. So start with the halfway point. And you'll want to work slow because it's crispy when it first comes out of the oven. 
and it's cooled off, but then over time. And how long will these last? Yeah, so these are good for a couple of weeks. So this is really great to make in advance and you can have oh, these snacks have for, for sex. Okay, well, we're gonna do the Jungle Wrap Supreme next. So come back with us in just a minute. Welcome back, everybody. And if you're just joining us, you're wondering what in the world the Very Very Show's turned into a jungle. I'm here with Caroline Williams. She is our brand new camp director for the Very Very Cooking Camp. Caroline is a recent graduate of Sanford University in Birmingham with a degree in dietetics. So we are extremely excited, Caroline, to have you so as part of our camping program. So we've got those gorilla bars in the oven. Yes. They smell amazing. And now, what are we doing? Yes. Yeah, so now we're going to make our jungle wrap supplies. If you've ever had a crunch wrap supreme, we're going to show you how to make it here at home. So first off, we're going to start with nacho cheese. So we warm this up in the microwave. Ooh. We're going to just pour a little bit into the center of our big burrito flour tortilla. Gosh, this, this is kind of like Taco Bell, yes. isn't it? Yes. So once we get a good amount of nacho cheese in the center of our tortilla, we are going to put our ground beef next. So earlier today, we cooked our ground beef on the stove top, and after we cooked it, we added some taco seasoning just to give it a little bit of yeah. flavor. Gosh, that smells so good. And I don't know that I've ever met a child that didn't like everything that's going on right here. So once we get a good amount of meat on our tortilla, we are next going to put a tostada chip on top of that. Oh, architecture. Yes, and this is what's gonna give it that nice crunch texture. Love that. So after that, we'll take our sour cream and just put a little bit on top of the chip. And you know, this is one of those times where I think if you don't tell the child that there's sour cream, they don't even notice it. Exactly. So we'll just get a nice base sour cream. And of course, with all these ingredients, it's how much you'd like to put on it, what you prefer right. and your preference. Right. So after we get a good amount of sour cream on our tostada chip, we're next going to layer it with some lettuce. So we're going to put the lettuce on top. And that's just shredded top. iceberg, right? Yes. A little bit of cheese. After that, we'll take some shredded cheese and top that. And this is kind of that try the mozzarella and the cheddar. Yes. Yum. And finally, some... we're going to put some tomatoes on top. Right, and then yeah, I've got the skillet going on over here on about a medium heat. So this is the cool part now. Yes, yeah, so now we're going to fold it. So we'll just slowly make this fold all the way around the tortilla. All right. And once we like it, we're gonna bring it over to the stove top and put okay. it seam down onto the pan. Yes. All right, so All right. that one's mine. That one's yours. And now you're going to make one for you. Yes. Okay, so while you start building that, let me share a little bit more about camp. You know, camp, as I said earlier, started in 2000. 2004 as a means for us to produce income in our company in the summer and over the years it has just grown by leaps and bounds with you know just the purpose of it it's certainly called a cooking camp but the children learn manners mm -hmm. etiquette they learn how to introduce themselves in front of an audience they learn how to set the table um, we go over nutrition we talk about entrepreneurship and how to make a dish like this and name it something and determine by the cost of the ingredients, how much to charge for it. So there's really a lot going on. There's lots of schools represented in the group. We'll have grandparents that have their grandchildren in town that week, so it works out. So we're gonna keep working on this. Up next, we're gonna, in Vera's corner, we're gonna go over how to make these adorable 
adorable decorations that are behind me. And then we're going to get started on these precious homemade animal crackers that everybody's going to love. So come back with us in just a few minutes. Coming up with great ideas and themes for a children's party can be tough, but our camp director, Caroline, has got the cutest little pom-pom animals to use for your safari-themed party. First, I'm going to demonstrate the giraffe pom-pom animal. Take 10 sheets of yellow tissue paper, about 20 inches by 30 inches each. This might require cutting down larger sheets. Fold the stack of sheets into an accordion stack. Tie the stack in the middle with a small piece of string to keep it together. Trim both ends to round the edges. Starting with the outermost layer, pull the piece of tissue up and away from the rest of the stack. Continue pulling and separating each piece on both sides of the stack until all pieces of tissue paper have been pulled apart. Fluff the pom-pom until you're happy with the shape. Use, use our facial features template to cut out construction paper for the ears, eyes, and nose. Put the final touches on the facial features and adhere to the pom-pom with tape. You can find this template on our blog at veriveracamp.com. You can repeat this process with different colors of tissue paper and different facial features to make many different animals. Let these pom-pom animals be the centerpiece at your child's next birthday party. Welcome back everybody and Caroline, those pom-pom animals are adorable. It just makes me want to have a birthday party for one of my grandchildren. I know the grand my grandsons would love it for sure. All right, so now we're going to work on the animal crackers. Yes. So these are so cute and really simple to make. So we'll walk you through the steps um, on how to do these. So first of all, we already have our flour measured out and put into our mixing bowl. Now we're going to add our sugar. our salt, and our baking powder. Yes. Then we will turn on the mixer just to get those mixed up. And we went ahead and softened the butter in the microwave. So after this is nice and incorporated together, we will add our softened butter. Okay, so when you soften butter in the microwave, that can be kind of tricky. So are we talking about two seconds, three seconds? Does it depend on whether it's just come out of the refrigerator? Yes, so we actually have a softened button on our microwave, which helps a lot. Yes. But you can kind of eyeball it and put it in there for a few seconds, make sure. Because you don't want it to be melted. Exactly, right. exactly. So we'll turn this off and add in the softened butter. Is this salted butter, unsalted butter? This is unsalted butter. See, I love those room temperatures. I, I say this a lot, but when I was little and I would bake with my grandmother, I always knew if we were going to bake because she would sit everything out the night before so it could all come to room temperature. And you know, the kids love the baking at camp. Yes. They just love the mixer. They even love the hand mixers. <laughs> Okay, so do I need to be mixing up these wet yes. ingredients? Yes, so now Vera, you're gonna mix up our wet ingredients for us. We have one egg, we have evaporated milk, and vanilla extract. Okay, so the thing about evaporated milk, which I bet people don't really even buy anymore, but you know, all, everything that we're talking about ingredient-wise right now, it, with the exception of milk for me, because there's no there are no children every day in my house. I don't always have milk, right. so to always have a can of evaporated milk in your pantry is important because you can you know you can put something together like this real quick. Right. Okay. So now we're going to add in our wet ingredients. 
And this is a hard dough, soft dough. This is gonna be nice and soft and it really shouldn't be too wet, um, as we'll see in a minute. All as right, so while that's mixing up, so we've got the jungle theme into the jungle for the pre-beginners. Then what are our beginner students gonna be doing? Yes, yeah, so our beginner students are gonna be doing a dynamite party. And then our advanced beginner students are gonna be doing a theme called the Wild Wild West. Really oh, excited fun. about that. And then for those students who have been to camp before, our intermediate and advanced level are gonna do some really fun themes. Intermediate will be Hollywood and advanced is gonna be around the world. So we're gonna oh, be doing wow. different recipes from all different cultures around the world. Oh, well, that looks great. Yes. Look at that. So it looks like our dough is all done. Okay. So, so I'm going to flour this board. Yes. And I will have to say we end up with some white faces and white jeans when we do flour in the kitchen, but that's all part of it. So after we flour our board, we're going to just take our dough out onto our cutting board. Here, you need some of that extra flour yourself, right? <laughs> yes, just flour a little bit and flour our rolling pin. So do you need to kind of press this together? Yes, so we'll make it into a, a ball shaped all together and then we will roll it out. Okay. Oh, it is a nice dough. Okay, so these little cookie cutters are adorable in the shapes of the little animals, the little animal crackers, and they have a little spring yes. so that the cookie just kind of pops out. So you're rolling that to what, a fourth of an inch about? Yes, just about that. Okay, well let's get a couple of these done real quick before we go to break. So you push down. Yep, wiggle it a little and lift pull it up, out. And then you come over here and you push it out. Yes, and it gives us a nice... Oh, look at that giraffe, he's adorable. <laughs> okay, so we've got some work to do during the break, and when we come back, we're gonna set up this entire little buffet of our themed party for Jungle Day. So come back with us in just a few minutes. Welcome back everybody. And I'm in the jungle looking at some of the greatest food and the cutest camp director ever. Thank you so much, Caroline. Of course. You this are bringing so, much, so fun. much energy to our camp program. I'm really excited about it. And your assistant, Angie, has also been very instrumental in making these modules so great for this summer. So let's talk about what we did today. Yes, so we made three awesome recipes. All of these recipes will be used in our pre beginner module this summer. So first we made our Gorilla Bars, which looks so good, and that was our take on a granola bar. So we used uh, dried craisins, it's our fruit of choice, mm -hmm. but you can use whatever dried fruit you would like and prefer. And so as you can see from the presentation standpoint, they stack so easily, they're oh, they great do. as a snack. Yeah, so you could individually wrap them and they could be in the lunch box. Yes, absolutely. Perfect. Next, we made our Jungle Wrap Supreme, which looks so good. I cannot wait to bite into those. Oh, I know it. And finally, we made our do-it-yourself animal crackers. So we, after we cut out all of the little animals, we took a little bit of cinnamon and sugar and just sprinkled that all over the cookies just to give it a nice, good taste and texture at the end. Well, and they absolutely melt in your mouth. And we also have an icing sometimes that we'll put on yes. those as well. And then, you know, obviously this theme can be very economically done. If you wanted to do this for a party, you don't have much involved in your food cost on any of this. And then the presentation, Caroline, is adorable. You're using some of the, you know, props that we're gonna teach the children how to do. We've got plastic platters that you can pick up very easily. And you just not got a lot of it 
expense here, right. but a lot of creativity. And that's where I want to send you to our website at veryvera.com to not only get the recipes from today, but also the template to make the precious pom-pom animals that we did in Vera's Corner today. So coming up with your own ideas, this could actually be a craft that you could do during the party when you're trying to fill up that two hours for a birthday. I know sometimes parents are just going, oh my gosh, what can we do? That would be a great idea because it's easy. All of this was based on a six or seven year old, so it's perfect for a birthday. So we have been talking about everything about camp. So for us, we have now got camp franchised in six areas. We are in Augusta, of course, where we've been for 16 years this summer. We're in Aiken, South Carolina. We're in Macon, Georgia. Charleston, South Carolina, Indianapolis, Indiana, and then finally brand new this summer in Beaufort, South Carolina. So if you're hearing me talk about this, go to veryveracamp.com, learn more about it, when the weeks are, and get that together. And then if you want to know more about camp, we certainly want you to get involved with us in the franchise capacity. So email Caroline at caroline at veryvera.com to get more information on that because it is a great community service. So you've heard so much from me and from Caroline about it. Let's hear from the campers. Colin Jelpin, you were a wonderful camper last summer at Under the Sea. What was your favorite part about it? I liked everything by liked meeting new friends and the Rice crispy treat dipped in chocolate with the goldfish on it. Carter Willis, I am so excited that you're coming back to camp this summer. So tell us, why did you want to come back to camp? Because I want to go see my friends and I want to make new ones and dip Rice Krispie treats to make them look like tigers and doing a banquet and setting the table. Well, you were such a great camper last summer. We are so thrilled that you're coming back. Thank you. Allow your young person to have this wonderful experience this summer too. And remember, no matter what you do, do it in good taste. I want to thank Caroline for joining me today. And I hope that you will come back and join us next week for another episode of The Very Vera Show.